packing for camp. At first, I wasn't going to bring a huge suitcase because I thought that was excessive. But after going through my closet and picking out clothes I want to bring, it's not excessive. It's just the only thing I can do. All my clothes is not fitting in a carry-on, so we had to bring out the big one. The day has come. It's officially time to pack for camp 2023. I'm so excited. By the time you guys see this, I will actually be home, which is crazy to think about. It'll be my first day back home, my first hours back home, because I get home early, early Sunday morning, like in the middle of the night Sunday morning. So this is coming out. Sunday, I think the 16th, and I will already be home. I can't wait to like watch this, like looking back and I'm packing. Oh, I actually wore that. I didn't wear that. Like what was necessary, what wasn't. I did go to camp last summer, as you guys know, and although I did go and I did learn like what to bring, what not to bring, I still feel like so I'm prepared to. That's why I'm bringing my entire closet. So let's start packing. If you guys haven't already, go watch my prep with me for camp. So much went into this moment. Like we did so much leading up to now, being able to pack. Also my goodbye video. In present time, I haven't left them yet. I actually have to say goodbye to them tomorrow, but I know that it's gonna be kind of sad. Okay, I'm just kind of freaking out. Let's start packing. I went through my closet and picked out clothes and put them into piles. So I'm gonna grab pile by pile and start packing it in here. I don't think I'm gonna use packing cubes because I know that the second I get the camp, they're all gonna get ripped out and everything's gonna be everywhere because we're girls, like that cabin is a mess. So we're not even gonna try to be organized. We're gonna be semi-organized, but we're not doing packing cubes for this one. All right, let's open her up. This thing is gonna be so heavy by the end of this. All this room, everything better fit. First pile, denim shorts. If you guys have never been to a sleepaway camp, pretty much the attire is like super casual. It's like denim shorts, comfy shorts, oversized t-shirts, and tank tops. Like, it's very, very simple. And everybody's pretty much wearing like the same thing. So here I have all my favorite denim shorts and they're all pretty similar, but they're all different at the same time. So that's why we're bringing so many. I probably wear a pair a day, so I'm justifying it because I know this is kind of a lot and they take up space, but I want to bring all of them. First up, we got these from Zara. I'm just going to roll them in there. I got these recently for camp and they're from PacSun. We got these from American Eagle. Got these brown ones from PacSun. I do not remember packing for camp last summer. Like, it was erased from my memory, I swear. Like, I do not remember packing. It feels like I just threw a bunch of clothes in there and just went because I don't remember it happening. We got these from American Eagle. We got these from uh, Princess Polly. And we got these from PacSun that I got the other day for camp. Okay, that's kind of a lot, but I'm going to try to like smush them all into one row. Jean shorts are packed. Then we have t-shirts. I will be wearing these every single day. So, yes, there's a lot, but they're necessary. First, I just have this oversized airy shirt. I think I'm going to wear this as my PJ shirt. Then I have this shirt. It's actually Uriel's, and he sprayed it to smell like him, and it smells so good. So I actually might sleep in this one. Then I have this shirt from Target. First, like, tight baby tee. This one's from Cotton On. Yeah. It's very cute. It's just like a light gray color. This shirt is actually from Sharp Top Co, which is where I went last summer. I will be bringing a ton of money. Not a ton, but like a good amount because I love their store. They always have like the cutest clothes. This one, I love it so much. So we're bringing her. Some more baby tees. This one's from Brandy, just like a striped one. These are just good with the denim shorts for like a more put together outfit. This one is from Urban. I love this one. And I have this one. I actually got it in Kauai, which is where we went for my 16th birthday. This one is from Brandy Melville. So is this plain one. If you guys saw my prep with me video, you guys will have seen all of the rest of the stuff. But this is actually Maddie's. Um, don't know where it's from, but I love it and I stole it because it's so comfy. The rest of this clothes was in my prep with me. So this one is from Goodwill. I actually really, really like it. I love the brown and the red. It's the Buccaneers. And this one is from PacSun. This one's from a beach shop on Anna Maria. So is this one. And this is just a basic white tee from Aerie. All right, now I'm going to put my baby tees in at the end. Denim shorts and t-shirts are in. That is one half. I will be piling stuff on top though because... We need the space. Next, we have comfy and athletic shorts. There's also a ton of those. We got some shorts from Bella Wong. I got these actually at Marshall's, I believe. Some brandy sleep shorts. These are Lulu leggings. I think I'm going to save these for the bus ride because I have to think about that. I'm packing all my favorite clothes and I still have to like 
wear things the next two days. Today's Friday and I'm going to dinner with Riley Lauren and Maddie, which is the group that we went to Sharp Top with last summer. Riley and Lauren are not coming with me and Maddie this summer. They're going to Plunge, which is like more of a wilderness type camp. Like it's in the woods. It's not like the same cabins type thing that me and Maddie are going to, which is really fun for them, but me and Maddie did not choose to go to that one this summer. So we're kind of splitting up. So we're having like a final dinner before they go to theirs and we go to ours. I know this is a ton of clothes, like way too much, but I literally know that I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I have no clothes like three days in. Got some Lululemon shorts. These are just black. And then I actually brought those to camp last summer and I wore them the first night, which you do something that night where you get really dirty and <laughs> they smelled so bad for the rest of the camp and I still wore them. These from Sheen. These are from Amazon, I believe. These are from Aerie, I think. And then I got these at Goodwill in my prep with me, but they're from Lululemon. Athletic and comfy shorts are in. This side is starting to get filled up, but I think I'm gonna put my tank tops in here and then I'll put the rest of the stuff on the other side, but I don't even have that much left. But I also have bathing suits, Never mind. Bathing suits are gonna take up a lot of space. <laughs> Next, we got tank tops. We got some keto tops for dinner because it's usually like dinner, club, and then like an activity. So we got some cuter tops for that. Got this one from Brandy and this one from Urban. Brandy, I have a lot of Brandy. This seems like an excessive amount of clothes, guys. I'm, I know, I know it's bad, but like I'm such an indecisive person. Like I can't just bring seven outfits. Like that's just not how it works. You change like so many times a day. The days there are literally so long. Like you change so much. Like, you wear something for breakfast and then you change after breakfast and then you wear something else and then you change again, and then you have free time, and then you go and get ready for dinner, and then you go to dinner, and then <laughs> it's just so much. Like, you don't just wear one outfit a day. I'm starting to get sloppy, which is not good. That's the last tank top. I'm gonna zip up this side because that's enough for this side. That's like most of my clothes though. Like my bed is pretty empty. Like that's pretty much all of it. Next we have underwears and bras. I am gonna put this one in a bag because like, I just don't want them everywhere. That goes in there. We kind of got some random, so I'll show you guys these. Next we got hoodies. I'm gonna bring my Zach Bryan one. This is my dandy one. It's inside out, but I don't feel like switching it. Then I just have this one from Brandy Melville. So we have one more pile left on my bed and then we need to get shoes, socks, and bathing suits. And then we should be good for the clothing and the suitcase part of this packing. And then to do things for my backpack, which is like the more little things, which we easily forget. Now we have to pick out swimsuits, which is what I overpack the most. This teal one, this blue one, this green one. And now we have to go through all of this. All right, let's go. <laughs> swimsuits. All right guys, so I think we're like halfway done packing now, which doesn't even seem like that much, even though I packed like my entire closet. We still have a lot to do. So I'm gonna go through the camp packing list because they sent one out and I'm just gonna go through and kind of check off what I already have packed. So first on the list is shoes. I haven't packed those yet, but I kind of have an idea of which shoes I wanna pack, which is kind of a lot of shoes, but it's okay. Basically you need some athletic shoes, like close toed. You need one pair of shoes that can get thrown away and then you need casual shoes and sandals. So I think we're good on that. I'm gonna bring my Converse. Um, some like running shoes and just like my Burks. And then for my throwaway shoe, I think I'm gonna wear my white Converse or my black Converse cause I wore one of those last year and like they're already dirty. Like they're just not good shoes and I don't really wear them. Like they're like flat ones. I like my platform ones. So we'll probably bring those for my messy shoes. And for clothing, you need casual clothing, t-shirts, pajamas, sweater or jacket, one throwaway outfit, bathing suit, raincoat, I'm not bringing a raincoat. Christmas theme attire, Christmas sweaters, PJs, green and red clothes, etc. Mountain slash lumberjack theme attire, flannel, overalls, boots, bandanas, white t-shirt, blue jeans, etc. And then a water bottle, money, hat and sunglasses, journal, flashlight, and camera. Okay, that's the packing list. You guys already saw everything I've packed so far, but we have some more stuff behind me. So Let's do that. First, I went to Emily's room and got some clothes. So let me show you guys which ones I grabbed. I got this white Lululemon shirt, this like fish shirt, which is actually mine. So I'm taking it back. And then I got some shorts. I have to try these on, but I got these pink ones. I got these blue ones. I got these, which are actually mine. They're my Lululemon ones. I think these are 
the ones I wore last summer. They don't smell anymore, which is good. And then I got these like white ones to go with the blue tank top that's actually also Emily's. I'm gonna bring my henna tattoos because literally just imagine a cabin full of girls at night. What are you gonna do? Temporary tattoos. I'm gonna bring this tote bag to carry all my stuff throughout the day around the camp. And this is all my stuff for the theme days. This is the old list. There's an updated list and they told us to bring a white t-shirt for a surprise and then a sports jersey. So I also have that here. But for my lumberjack outfit, I have two options in mind. Either wearing shorts. I need to find a flannel. But either wearing shorts or I have my overalls here. I'm going to try on this outfit now so that like... If I don't want to bring the overalls, I don't take up all that space. But I feel like it's just going to be way too hot for overalls, so I might wear denim shorts and a flannel. But we are going to try on the outfits now so I can decide. And then for my Christmas, I only have, like, these Christmas shorts. So, like, I don't know what to do. Because these are, like, tiny. Like, I don't know. I don't have, like... I have a freaking onesie, but it's so hot. Like, there's no way I'm wearing that. So, I probably would wear this, which is, like, a white t-shirt or a white um, tank top type thing because these are, like, the only Christmas type thing I have. So, I don't really know about that. And then for my outfit to get dirty, I just have this black tank top and these black athletic shorts that I really don't like and this activity is at night so that's why I just don't care it's just my throwaway outfit this is my white t-shirt I got this in my prep with me video I cut it some more it's just pretty short but like not too short and then we have my sports jersey and you guys already saw this one as well if you guys saw my prep with me so that's my themed outfits I still haven't really figured them out so that's why we're going to try them on now and like figure them out some more because I don't have like a ton of space to keep just throwing stuff in. I am bringing a book and a journal. If you guys saw my prep with me, once again, I got this book in that video. And this is my journal that's also from last summer. So I bought these journals for me and Uriel last summer and we're using them again this summer because I'm going away. It's actually like literally almost to the day of last summer. Last summer was on the 10th, this summer is on the 9th. So we're off by a day, but it's pretty cool. I wrote every day, July 10th. July 11th, July 13th. It's like three pages of what we did every single day. And it was super cool. I remember every night we had a little flashlight and we were like all the way at the back of the cabin right for like 20 minutes while everybody was sleeping. And it was super cool. So we're doing it again this summer. This page says camp number two, July 9th, 2023, Carolina Point. And then he just wrote me a little message and I wrote his number because there is a phone at camp and I'm gonna call him, obviously. Last summer I would call him like once or twice a day. So we're doing that again this summer and I'm gonna write to him, he's gonna write to me. And basically when I came home, we went to the beach together and we both read each other's letters on the day. So like the day that I was doing this, he was doing that and we just read them to each other. So that's my journal i'm gonna be bringing her again obviously then my book these are obviously gonna come with me these are gonna go in my backpack not my suitcase but i think we're down to the last couple things so i'm gonna try on my theme outfits we're gonna pick out my shoes and then we have to do like my skincare stuff my jewelry stuff <sighs> okay i'm trying to figure out my lumberjack outfit but like what the flip is a lumberjack like i know what it is like they cut wood and stuff but like how am i supposed to dress like one and I don't want to wear my overalls. Like, I don't know. I just don't feel like they're the vibe. So, like, this is, like, another option. Do I look like I'm going to go chop some wood? Like, no. Last year was, like, country, which I feel like country is easier to dress for, even though it's, like, the same vibe. Like, it's not. Like, what the heck? I don't have to wear my boots. Like, I don't have to bring them because they, like, take up so much space for one night. But, like, literally, what am I supposed to do? I'll try on the overalls to give you guys the vibe because I don't know which one I like better. Alright, we got this one. I feel like it's a little better. I actually look like I'm about to go chop some wood. I think I'm going to bring both options because when the day comes, I'm going to be super indecisive. So I'm going to just bring the overalls. I don't know about the boots because I think they do add to the outfit, but is it worth it? I feel like I'm overpacking like way too much. Like a lot too much. Oh, I feel like I'm way, way too overpacked. It's bad. And the zipper broke on here, but that doesn't even close. <sighs> okay. Let's try to close this. I think I have everything I need in here. 
Yeah, it looks like it. So we're just gonna try to close her. I don't know what's, if it's gonna work. Oh my gosh, things are falling off. Clearly not gonna work. And then on the way back, it's gonna be even worse. Okay. The zipper is about to pop. I think I overpacked, like a lot. Okay, it closed. I feel like this is embarrassing, like how much clothes I just packed. Like this is bad. It's so heavy. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Alright, suitcase is packed. I forgot my overalls. It's gonna have to go in my backpack. I'm gonna take a break. I'm stressing. I feel like I just packed way too much. I took my break, it's currently 2.45, but I need to keep going and finish everything that I have to do so I can go out to dinner with my friends. But all I really have left is my camera stuff and my like essentials and like the bathroom and that type of stuff and like my char, I don't even need a phone charger, but I need my charger for my cameras. So yeah, I kind of feel like stupid and like I'm embarrassed like with the amount of clothes I'm packing Like I've never really been embarrassed for overpacking, but like this is so bad. It's so much clothes. Ugh, it's so bad. Whatever What are you gonna do? I'm not opening it back up, but let's pack my backpack. I'm gonna bring this one She's really heavy right now because she has so much stuff in her, but we're gonna get rid of my goggles I don't need to bring four pairs of goggles we have a water bottle in here. We have, I am gonna bring my sunscreen. I'm already bringing one of these and this one's melted. So we're not bringing her, but we're bringing this one. This is my electronics bag. This is for on the way home. I can download pictures to my phone. I am gonna be bringing the GoPro, but I'm not bringing the drone because I just feel like it's just not necessary. So I'm bringing my GoPro. I'm bringing this little one. I'm bringing my big one. So I need this charger for my little camera, this charger for the GoPro, and then this charger for the big camera. So I'm gonna bring my big camera and then I'm getting a new memory card for this camera. My mom just bought new memory cards, so I'm gonna bring one to camp. This one has a memory card and I just emptied this one, so she's good. I'm gonna go through all the memory cards again to make sure that they're pretty empty so that I can Get as much footage as I can and I don't have to worry about that. But all my electronics are there and their chargers. So that's good. I'm going to need to put my overalls in my backpack since I forgot to put them in my suitcase. I honestly might open it up and take some things out because I'm like embarrassed with how much is in there. I'm also going to put this tote bag at the bottom. And then we're going to bring my temporary tattoos. I'm going to put that in the front. I'm going to put my journal here. We're gonna put her in the back along with my book. The rest of the things that are gonna go in here are in my bathroom. So let's go get all of that. And then we're almost done. This is body wash. This is lotion. This is shampoo and this is conditioner. I just brought my K18 and this blue shampoo because or conditioner because I couldn't use mine because it's almost out. So I just brought those. And then where am I supposed to put this? Okay. And then I have my toothbrush, toothpaste. We have a bunch of razor heads and then a razor. I'm going to bring a disposable one also. We got flossing things. We got shaving cream. We got a lint roller. We got eyelash curler. I'm going to get um, my mascara from my mom's room. But that's what's in there. So I need to get mascara. And I need to get a disposable razor, just in case that one sucks. And for my skincare, I'm going to bring my moisturizer, face wash, and acne cream, but I'm still using it, so that'll get packed when I'm leaving. But I got some hair clips. I need to grab some more and, like, hair ties. Got sunscreen, Vaseline, Aquaphor, deodorant, um, perfume, leave-in conditioner, and Mighty Patches in here. So that's pretty, pretty good. And then I just got this hairbrush. But I'm gonna get hair clips for my car and hair ties for my mom's room. And for the most part, I think that we're like, like ready. Like it doesn't feel like I'm ready, but I think I am. I do think that for the most part I am packed. I think I'm not missing any clothing. Like I have way too much clothes in there. It's actually insane. I might open it up and take some things out because I think it's like excessive the amount of clothes I'm bringing. 
but I'm also gonna pack some jewelry I'm gonna do some more things but for now I think that the main things have been done I got all my clothes and more I have my face stuff I have all my body things I have my cameras the chargers all of that so I'm ready for camp today is Friday I have Saturday and I leave tomorrow night so I think I have like less than 48 hours I have a little bit over 24 hours until I leave so tonight I'm going to dinner with my friends so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have not watched my other camp videos leading up to now go watch those my prep with me my goodbye video because as of right now in this moment I've already said goodbye to Uriel like a couple days ago but I am still with my parents I'm still at home with my family but I have to say bye to them tomorrow so if you haven't already watched those videos and then stay tuned for my week at camp that'll be up on Wednesday so I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my camp vlog I almost forgot but I'm making these pictures of me and Uriel as my bookmark for my book 